Hello, good afternoon sovereigns, the world, friends, family, humans, mankind, spirits, indigo children, light workers, rainbow children, whoever you are, all of you. This is an important, uh, important announcement. What are we on? 26th of March, 3 o'clock. <clears throat> what do I need to tell you? On Saturday, the 22nd of April, 2017, starting at 10 a.m. at the Albert Hall, Nottingham, is the Great Moot. The organiser, Justin Walker, he's from the British Constitution Group. They all met up on November the 2016 at Winchester. There was about 520 of them. They talked about important issues, about topics that surround the landmass England, that are British constitution groups, so they obviously <clears throat> are looking at Britain, England, the landmass we are all on, no matter what you call it. Not United Kingdom, because that's a corporation, much like England, much like United Kingdom, England, Britain, the British Isles, the Commonwealth. So, there's going to be two main points to this meeting on Saturday the 22nd of April. <clears throat> to demand the full restoration of trial by jury. Common law constitution. This is ours by right. By our inherent inalienable birthrights. By what it states in the Magna Carta. The second issue <clears throat> that they want to talk about, bringing back the Bradbury Pound and the restoration of the principal sovereign national credit. I'm not going to explain that now, but that's something for you to look and research. The Bradbury Pound, I understand that. Local currency, not using federal notes. The restoration of the principal sovereign national credit. The Queen's just had... The royal family and monarchy, but Elizabeth, has just had the um, sovereign grant applied to them. I believe their income's gone from 20 trillion to 40 trillion. It took 12 MPs 13 minutes to decide to give them that money. And it's come from a sovereign grant. So that money has been printed by their friends, their compadres, the mafioso, the cartel, known as the Bank of England, which is owned not by England, not he's got shareholders and um i believe nathan rothschild at the battle of waterloo um swindled swindled the shareholders out of that by um selling all his, all his shares when he knew england had won at waterloo wellington was triumphant the bird that came back the carrier pigeon that came back first was rothschild's nathan's the families told them we've won so what did they do? They sold the shares. Why did they sell the shares? England's won. The shares are going up. <sighs> Breathe. Woosa. Out with the bad. In with the good. <sighs> they sold the shares because they wanted people to think they knew that England had lost at Waterloo. So everybody saw Rothschild selling their shares in the Bank of England. Once they'd seen that, they all started selling theirs. Then, share prices dropped, because everybody, the general consensus in the rumour mill was, ah, we must have lost. Rothschilds have sold their shares. We'll all sell ours quickly before the prices drop. They all got sold. The prices dropped. Guess what? Rothschild bought them all back at rocket bottom prices. Then what happened? Ah, the rest of the pigeons came, and the men on horses, and the boats. And what did we find out? England triumphant. Who owns all the shares? Rothschild. What happened to the shares? They rocketed up. Who stole our money, bonds, finance, future and put us into debt? The Rothschilds. In the 1800s. A little bit of history. I digress there. Everything's connected. You've got to be so careful. Right, we need to take these issues further regarding the full restoration of trial by jury, common law constitution, bringing back the Bradbury Pound and looking at the restoration of the principal sovereign national credit. The politicians of parliament are, you know, we have a government, it's a false government, it operates for people, dead people lost at sea, it doesn't operate for men 
bodies, flesh and souls. It operates for corpses, corporations, and it has lobbyists, and it has um, corruption all the way through it. The politicians of parliament, they're operating a de facto court system. This is not a court de jour, what I'm on about in my other videos and principles. It's a de facto government, which means administration, not lawful, corrupt. I'll explain in a minute. And obviously, yeah, with the bankers and the corporations and the lobbyists, the parliament is uh, in... Um, Justin Walker's words are quite like this a citadel of tyranny tyranny a citadel yes it is it's a cartel it's a mafioso <clears throat> disgusting and we're paying for it and we're letting it happen we are putting these people and electing them and using a system that's broken and false where only two parties can ever be the main contenders the Green Party never going to get a look in only two Conservatives, Labour, there can only be two, we live in a duality world, yes, no, on, off, left, right, up, down, backwards, forwards, man, woman, there can only ever be two, we're in a, singul a, a duality, not a singularity. We need to come together, my video yesterday about am I a slave, am I owned, have I got a choice, we got to come together, it doesn't matter where you're from. My surname is Jeremita. I'm born in England, yes? I have an English passport. I'm an English man. I am born, freeborn, the landmass England. But I have lineage in my family that goes back to Greece, Italy, Ireland, England, all over. So it affects us all in whatever capacity you are in as a sovereign man, um, a free man, um, uh, a spiritualist, a Buddhist, you know, um, a Reiki healer, holistic, anybody that isn't upper class, that is middle class down to poverty, homeless, this affects all under, under you know, the top, the top pay bracket, the elite of our society. So even the middle class are going to food banks, feeling the squeeze, paying, um, having two jobs, paying two incomes, taxes, and, um, you know, we're all struggling. Britain is broken. It's dismantled. We need to come together to organise a peaceful mass movement. As I said yesterday, some 2015 merchandise has come to light on YouTube regarding how the uh, US county state enforcement officers have been trained to deal with anybody that says they are a sovereign or that has an insignia instead of a licence plate or that even just questions the validity, the jurisdiction and the authority of the officer that is trying to extort money from you when you are his employee. You know, once we start asking questions as to why do we have to pay that? Who says I have to pay that? Why have you done this? Why have you breached procedure? Why aren't you answering my questions? Why can't I film you? Why are you arresting me? What have I done wrong? Where is the victim? Ah. Oh. And then we are the crazy ones, and we know more law than the man at the side or the woman at the side of the road um, practicing law in a uniform that's been trained. Well, the problem is they're not trained in law, they're trained in how to be an officer, how to be um, collecting for the crown, not working for the people. They take an oath, but even that's debatable um, if they do actually take an oath and um, what the point of that oath is. Ah, there's going to be workshops in this uh, meeting at Albert Hall on Saturday the 22nd. And in this discussion workshop groups, they're going to be informal. They want our input. They want our commitment to make um, a non-violent, you know, peaceful mass movement protest. We need to join together. I'm in Sovereign Solicitors. I created Sovereign Solicitors for the understanding for myself of law, legalese, statute, act. Um, birth certificate, sesto kv, implied meanings, somewhere to upload template letters to get other people's letters to make discussions because I've got a brain that tells me something's wrong and it tells me and then I feel it here. When I feel it here, sometimes I think, oh, that's wrong. But then my heart goes, no, idiot, you are, you are right. And then I correct myself up here. 
when I say up here the world is wrong and I feel it here as well and I know the law is wrong I know the processes are wrong I know the implied meanings behind the words are wrong I know that having people in a court system that speak a secret language that we need to have somebody go in there with us in our own court to decode this language under license to use this language what when did that happen what's going on Equality for all. Well, let's all speak the same language and let's not hide anything in dogma text and glossa Latin or joinder or tacit and tor and adhesion contracts that they try to put onto our person and then get the man to claim by asking you for your date of birth and your surname. Try living life without ever giving anybody your date of birth, your surname or a signature. You will not get far. If you're just turning 16, good time to try it. Start using your thumbprint. When anybody wants your signature, get yourself a nice red pad put your thumb and sign for it as the as the, the living body and flesh because nobody recognizes that my advice to you if you're a young child 16 18 even and you've got a birth certificate look at the bottom of it it will tell you it is not evidence of identity do not call yourself that name on that certificate you would just be john steve andy of the family of if anybody says what's your date of birth answer this it is hearsay my date of birth is hearsay i was born may 1978 that's my date of birth i've got a given name i didn't choose it myself my parents gave it to me i am created by anyway i'm drifting again by my parents and i'm answerable to my parents and god and then we created government and government are answerable to us and this isn't happening 10 of the discussion i get so passionate it's unbelievable 10 of the workshops and discussion groups that are going to be held on Saturday, I'll give you the five that I've um, heard about from the promotional video from um, Justin Walker and the guy from UK Column, whose name I can never remember, but I love him to bits. Um, you know who he is. <laughs> Institu constitutional issues will be discussed number one number two the rule and application of law number three the police and uh, officers how they work what they're about their tactics language code of conduct policy things like that um four the nhs hmm no say no more five the bradbury pound Six, I dare say tax will be mentioned because tax is in, in unlawful, un, in, unconstitutional. We pay road tax. The roads are shocking. The schools are shocking. Um, the police are shocking. The rule of law isn't applied. We want people where well, they want people and we will be asking questions and we will give our own information because these people that are organising this, like myself, we know nothing. We don't know it all. We know some things. We have put amassed what we've got collectively together and we've put it in the British Constitution Group or into Sovereign Solicitors. We are using the mainstream um, networks of, uh, of distraction for interaction. We are no longer disillusioned. We are no longer wanting to, um, let me put in, bide our time and be passing the time and escape reality. We have to face reality. We have people knocking at the door, coming for stuff. We have people sending letters with demands on. We have people going to food banks, going to doctors, taking tablets, going back to the doctor. The tablets don't work. I'll take two of them. What? They never tell you what food to eat, how to get better, how to get well, what to do, what lifestyle changes to make. They want you on courses. They want you on, um, what's that one now with the mind? It's uh, um, cognitive behavioural therapy. Big pharmaceutical prescriptions. No, there's different ways of sorting this out with ourselves, like we are doing. And, uh, yeah. Not to submit and register and beg and get benefits. We are due entitlements as a man of England. A woman, man, a man. It's the same. This is a two-way exercise. They want people to talk and make friends. Because our country has been dismantled. Look at the schools, the homeless, the unemployment, the unlawful wars overseas. England, um, Britain and the United Kingdom's foreign war policy is disgusting. Absolutely disgusting, the damage we have done. And the money that you pay in your taxes that they say goes for council tax, goes for road tax, goes for income tax, goes for v value added tax, goes for bedroom tax, goes for inheritance tax. <sighs> Do you know what I mean? 
How many more taxis are going to put on you before you actually say, actually, do you know what? That man Dave, he had a point there. He said, you know, we pay the income tax through our wages, we pay our NI. That's it. As far as I'm concerned, if they turn around and said, you know what? We need another two pound off everybody each week to sort out the NHS. Boom, done. It, we'd pay it, wouldn't we? But they don't. They tell us what they want money for. They invent new tax brackets and then they take the money and nothing changes. The time is now to work together. We have proof now as well. In Sovereign Solicitors, I can't tell you how much stuff we've sourced and referenced from .gov.uk. I can't show you enough videos on my channel, Indigo Child, what you're watching now. Look at the playlist and look at my videos. There's two different lists. My videos are these ones now recorded and uploaded by me and by my friends in this arena. Um, 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 but the playlists are ones as 3,000 across 30 playlists that me and a friend have done over the last five years. No, two years. <clears throat> and um, three and a half thousand videos across 30 playlists. And then you've got the 60 that contain in Sovereign playlists that are all ours and uploaded. The rest are linked to. Um, all the tools are there between Sovereigns and YouTubes and the British Constitution Group on Facebook. Truth, council tax my arse, parking tickets my arse, exposing the matrix of lies. I have so many positive groups on there. Um, we've got anonymous groups on there. We've got Global Solidarity Alliance. We've got I Resist. There's so many brilliant people out there in their thousands now. And all we need to do is collect them and put them together. Saturday 22nd, Albert Hall, Nottingham. What's your excuse? It's even on a Saturday. You don't even need to book it off work. I work weekends. I work all hours, days and afters. But I've booked it off. I'm there already. Hence this video. 26th of March, plenty of time, nearly a full month to get this organised. It will be £10 um, to get in there and to cover the fees and, and what's going off. So I don't mind paying a tenner not to go and meet all the people that I can meet, to get a chance to network, shake hands with Tom Crawford, um, talk about, there you go again. The man had all the, all the right processes in place. He did everything and um, it turns out they took his house they didn't have any liability. They've questioned the CPS and requested via the judge the documentation, copies of, signed liability, warrants, warrants of execution, things like this, which they've enacted and used in force at the property. And um, it turns out the response from the CPS after a much delayed date of expectance is the officers never did have that in their hands and never will do. So the evidence requested for this unlawful and illegal um, repossession, eviction, assault and things like this on a day that they were mourning um, the loss of a loved one. Again, disgusting. It is absolutely disgusting. So we have proof, um, lots of proof. We've got too much. It's getting to the point now where people are getting angry, very angry. And we're controlling it and focusing it and putting it in a peaceful, non-aggressive, positive way to act. We don't want to fight each other. It doesn't matter whether you're brown, black, blue, white, multicoloured, missing limbs, um, can't speak, disabled. It affects everybody from the elite down, from the... Um, upper class down because the upper class they are ignorant to this they think we're all a bunch of freaks and once the Westminster plans and uh, you know uh, conspiracy theories here's another one what happened at Westminster the other week it, on the 3rd 22nd of March 22-3 and um, uh, 22 minutes past 3 another 3.22 so the date and the time are references to Masonic numbers um, skull and bones, say no more. Secret handshake, say no more. Um, 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 and then we've got pictures of red helicopters, not air ambulance that are paid for by the NHS. You're in Greater London now, where Westminster is. It's own postcode, it's own police, <coughs> it's own rules. It is not classed as United Kingdom or Great Britain. It is not England. It is a separate entity and it's where Buckingham Palace, Westminster, Houses of Parliament, the Bank of England, the elite, the the Crown Corporation, yes, the council sit there. This <clears throat> bombing, um, not bombing, um, terrorist attack with no video footage. The most covered city in the world has no video footage. People's handsets whilst they were filming wasn't working. They wouldn't record. They wouldn't turn on. They couldn't make calls. 
Now that's not because everyone's busy, because on New Year's Eve, we can all still make calls in a massive party. I've been with 4,000 people on an island in Christmas time, New Year's, and press send for text, and it's got through. So, you know what I mean? Uh, and there's red ambulances, and what's on the ambulances? What is it, do you think? What have we got on the ambulances? The air ambulances, helicopter, the G line, the G, guild. They're a guild, yes. And they've got a G on it, and they've got London, Freemasons under the door, and the compass and the square above the door. We've got a dummy pushed under a bus with no blood, no shoes. The bus has run over her. You can clearly see it's a dummy. So... <laughs> They're now telling us stuff and doing stuff and making it that blatant. They do not care and they're not worried. This is not um, a violent movement. This is, you know, a peaceful mass movement collection of like-minded souls that want to make a difference and be the change they want to see in the world by being that change. So under Roman civil laws, you are guilty and proven until proven innocent, right? You are guilty until proven innocent under Roman civil laws. And in the English common law, we are told we are innocent until proven guilty. Well, it seems that the Roman civil law is the one that's um, superseded everything at the moment because the Roman Catholic organisation via the establishments, the birth certificates, the Christian nation faith that we are and um, the Queen's oath to um, uphold the, um, you know, the, uh, the, the will of the people and the law due to her power, well, it is argue, it's quite arguable what her power is and what she's willing to uphold and what law and what, what rule because she's ultimately responsible. It's her government and it's her de facto court system, not de jure, and it's a false government and it operates for people and not men, womb men or anything. You are given statute by default. You are classed as a person and a citizen, as a slave, as an employee of the state and um, your wages that you receive via your employer are classed as a benefit, which is how they are able to put attachments of earnings on you. So simple for so such silly little things without liability signed um, paperwork with a legible wet ink signature so you can then get reverse liability on that which is why we need to see a name and a signature which is the reason why they don't give it so you don't get reverse liability on their full com commercial public liability insurance as they will have a policy with their employer so um, I've got a lot to say I can't stop talking I am sick of talking to a phone and um, typing on a screen to everybody in sovereigns as brilliant as it is over a thousand people in 18 months with a common goal, non-violent, knowledgeable. We've written some documents that you cannot believe the standard and the quality. I'm talking word perfect, statutory declarations, notices of intent, opportunity to cure, um, um, claim of right, uh, many, many things. We have got letters and conditional acceptance offers. We've got get out of debt free orgs um, people, some of them, um, not saying who, and um, that's not a brag or anything or even a name drop because I didn't mention a name. What I'm saying is people of like minds are thinking together, coming together, working together, operating together on a very, very high level. So we either have a choice in England or we don't have a choice. If I haven't got a choice and you haven't got a choice, then we are slaves. We are being dictated to and told what to do. We are told we are free. Yeah, You are free to get up and go to work and do your shopping and drive as they tell you and walk where they tell you you and do what they tell you and only eat what they let you eat and only do things at certain times and if you don't have the license permission registration authority and uh, oh my days and you're in trouble aren't you well no <laughs> these laws as uh, my man uh, Justin Walker from the British Constitution group has just said are um, they're ours by right um, by our inherent inalienable birthrights so, that's it from me. We are not slaves. We have got a choice. Statute uh, is legislation law is governable by consent. If we don't get to choose, if we're not pleased by consent and don't get to choose by consent and we're, and we're being fought, Roman civil law is being put on us and we are guilty until proved innocent, then that should make your ears stand up. That should make you want to ask questions. That should make you want to research. That should make you want to get down to, where is it? 
Albert Hall, Nottingham, Saturday 22nd of April, starts at 10 a.m. I'm not sure what time, maybe six. Woo! So yeah, wearing this. Good on Sebastian. Happy, happy times. Number one, yeah, about time. Been waiting to get boast in this coat. Sunday, Grand Prix day. It's not law day, it's Sunday, the Sabbath. Well, sovereigns, here you go. A little bit of my bode. It's been good chatting to you. Can't wait to meet anybody and everybody that's going on Saturday and to shake hands. Um, Nottingham, Albert Hall. No, Nottingham, Albert Hall, yeah. 22nd, just checking. Peace, love and light, Sovereigns. Much love. Keep up the good work. Things are happening. Ciao for now.